Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to answer the question, does obesity cause lower back pain? Weight status is discussed relative to BMI or body mass index, which is simply calculated by kilograms per meters squared. So you take the weight in kilograms divided by the height in meters squared, but there are plenty of calculators online to figure that out pretty quickly. Here we see the ranges of BMI, 18 through 25. It's the normal range, 25 to 30 overweight, over 30, obese. The first article we're gonna look at is from 2010 in the American Journal of Epidemiology. The gist of this meta-analysis was that being obese or overweight increased the risk of developing lower back pain. Another meta-analysis in the Clinical Spine Surgery Journal in 2018 confirmed the results from the prior study indicating a higher risk in overweight individuals and an even higher risk of lower back pain in obese individuals. Both studies showed a greater risk for women relative to men in developing lower back pain with obesity. Okay, so does increased body weight cause lower back pain? My opinion? No, obesity increases the risk of developing lower back pain, but it does not cause it. We see folks without back pain that are overweight, and we also see folks with back pain that are not overweight. Here's one example of this. Eating in public does not result in being punched in the face, but it may increase the risk of it. So what does this mean? Simply put, if our patients with lower back pain lose weight, it will likely improve, but not necessarily completely eliminate the lower back pain. So why does increased BMI result in increased risk for lower back pain? Here are some thoughts. Number one, the additional weight adds to the stress on the structures of the lower back. It may result in the supporting muscles to fatigue faster. A second, often a diet that results in obesity will coincide with increased inflammation. Third, another factor predisposing people to increased body weight would be being less active. This would allow for increased tightness and increased weakness, both of which can contribute to lower back pain. Lastly, studies have shown obesity can increase the risk of disc degeneration and decrease spinal mobility, uh, which may be nutritional related as we see increased triglycerides and LDL and decreased HDL resulting in dyslipidemia, which may contribute to atherosclerosis and thereby resulting in poor nutrition to the discs, predisposing them to disc degeneration. Okay. Lastly, on the plus side, we see that as patients lose weight, their pain improves, and this is not solely related to the loss of weight, but also multiplied by the increased activity and improved nutrition. All right, until next time.